Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your post WASD Wilkins Agwire recap. Lower across the board after the WASD came out, and let's take a look at the whiteboard and figure out why. So, grab it over here. So, we're going to look at the same exact stuff we looked at this morning, except in the blue now is what we got actually from the USDA. So, the USDA gave us a yield of 165.3 bushels per acre in corn. It's actually lower than what the trade was expecting and it basically was unchanged from what we got in June from the USDA. Uh, July for beans we got a yield of 45.2 so that's what we got today. You know 0.1 above what the, uh, the USDA or the average trade estimate was so really not a whole lot of surprises there as far as the yield go. Production actually came in lower than what the trade was expecting, came in at 13.860 for production today versus what the trade was expecting at 13.931, that's in billion bushels. Beans came in a little higher than what the trade was expecting, 13.8 billion bushels versus 13.787 of the average trade estimate. And then wheat came in at 1.992 billion bushels versus the trade estimate of 1.964. So not just a, a whole lot off of what the trade was expecting. And then ending stocks for corn came in at 1.807 billion bushels. Uh, or I'm sorry, that's what the trade estimate was. Actually came in a little lower at 1.801 today. Uh, July uh, today for ending stocks came in at 415 million bushels for beans. Slightly below what the trade was expecting. The trade was actually expecting 417. And then uh, wheat, this was one of the more bearish numbers on the board. Uh, 660 million bushels ending stocks versus a trade estimate of 590. So, yeah, as noted on the board, there were some other numbers uh, if you want to take a look at them, whether it be 2013, 2014 ending stocks for beans was a, was a bearish number. Came in at 140 when I think the trade was expecting 132. So that was above the trade estimate. Um, other than that, you know, it's, you could call it a bearish report for beans and wheat, not so much for corn. It was drugged down a little bit by the bean and wheat markets. Um, but essentially what it came out to be was it was just a green light for traders to continue selling the markets. In July beans, we're almost to last trading day on July beans, but July beans were down over 80 cents at one point in the day. August beans were down over 70 cents at one point in the day. So that might have been a little exaggerated. There wasn't just a whole heck of a lot of volume in the market today. I was kind of surprised to look at some of the volume levels and see where we were. We'll have to see if that kind of picks up moving forward. But, you know, traders kind of just looked at this as, all right, the report's out. There's nothing shocking in there. Go back to business as usual. And business as usual for them lately has been selling. So we'll have to see how that pans out moving forward. It is going to go back to being all about the weather. We're going to continue to talk about the weather in the next month, month and a half as uh, for corn, especially into beans, when we're talking about a month and a half down the road, and see how that pans out as it's pivotal time right now for the weather. It looks great. Temperatures are cooler, not too hot. Uh, rain forecasts are expected to be right around average. So great growing outlook right now, and that's why when the report was known, no big surprises, the market continued to sell. No one was wanting to step in and buy, so that's why we saw the, the beans sell off as aggressively as we did, wheat sell off as aggressively as we did, and then corn wasn't down that much, but it was drugged down by the other two. So that's all we've got for today. Hope you all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by Daniel's Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniel's Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the Risk Disclosure Access at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.